The push board is an essential accessory needed to safely rip on a radial arm saw. In this video, I'll show how to make a proper push board for your saw. You're probably familiar with traditional push blocks and push sticks. These do have utility with radial arm saws. For example, they are excellent accessories for molding and edge grooving operations. However, when it comes to ripping, traditional pushers are not ideal, especially when ripping narrow boards. They can be awkward to use around the motor and yoke assembly that is located above the table. The blade guard can also impede their use. Instead, a push board is the ideal accessory to safely push both the board and cutoff clear past the blade while keeping your precious fingers far from danger. If you watch my videos, you know that I frequently rip on my radial arm saws and I always use a push board when I do. Push boards are intended to be sacrificial. Sometimes you can get a lot of use out of one. However, they're easy to make, so replace them before they look like this. I generally make my push boards from 3 quarter inch thick pine, about 6 to 8 inches in width. You want the wood to be flat and straight with the ends cut square. Adjust the blade guard and set the anti-kickback paw for ripping. The pushboard length is set to extend past the blade, but not long enough to engage the anti-kickback paw. Otherwise you won't be able to pull the pushboard back at the end of the cut. Once the length is determined, add a stop at the blade guard and a grip to make it easy to move the pushboard forward and back. This simple pushboard works well as is. However, I prefer to make a more ergonomic version with a handle. When replacement is needed, the handle assembly is simply screwed to another fresh board. Before ripping on a radial arm saw, it must be properly set up and calibrated. If you don't know how to do this, I have a separate video that walks you through the process and I'll include a link to it in the video description. Blade choice is also a serious consideration. I only use the Freud LU83 or the TCG version of the Forest Woodworker 1. As with any ripping operation, the workpiece should first be face jointed to ride along the table and edge jointed to ride along the fence. Also, one end cut square to mate with the pushboard. Always lower the blade guard to the workpiece. This acts as a hold down to keep the board from lifting. It also provides blade protection and improves dust collection. Always use the anti-kickback paw. This is very important to help minimize the risk of kickback. Begin the rip cut, keeping the workpiece flat on the table and tight against the fence. Feed at a constant rate. Once there's adequate room on the table, place the pushboard directly behind the workpiece. Finish the cut as you keep the pushboard flat and against the fence. Push until you reach the stop and re retrieve the pushboard by pulling it straight back. Pushboards are easy to make, easy to use, and an effective way to safely feed a board through and past the blade. I would never rip on a radial arm saw without one. Leave me a comment if you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.